right, you bunch of yahoos. Strap yourselves in for another episode of Dan and Don's Toxic Masculinity. In other words, shut up, sit up, and pay attention. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Toxic Masculinity with my co-host, Don the Predator Fry, and yours truly, Dan the Beast Ever Here. We are here to entertain, enlighten, offend, defend anyone and everyone. So put on your man pants and grab a cup of coffee or a beverage of your liking and get ready to be infused with a little toxic masculinity. I don't know, Mr. Fry, how'd I do on that one? I kind of... I, I, I kind of flew by the seat of my pants there just a little bit. So uh, I was I was excited. Yes, I, whoa, 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 I was whoa. waiting. <laughs> I, I was waiting. I, I you thought know. that maybe because you you just you just shot you just basically had some some iced tea there. I, I thought yeah. that probably you know, they did it. Uh, Quinn, put, uh, what are you doing? Kept kept you awake there. <laughs> well, again, just for the people that are tuning on in. Uh, we'll just kind of give people let people know that we're we're actually in two different locations here once again. You're down there in uh, Tucson, Arizona, and uh, uh, we switched roles because just less than uh, what, what less than two weeks two ago weeks. that you were yes sir that uh, you're down in uh, Medellin, South America, Colombia. Yes, Medellin, Colombia. Yes. So uh, and. Uh, all part of the bio accelerator yes. company, stem cell company. So we'll be, we'll be talking a little bit, well, amongst all, all, all the other stuff that we tend to go off into different tangents about, we'll definitely be talking about stem cells and uh, the bio accelerator company and uh, what uh, wonderful things that they have done for both of us there. Yes, they have. I'm very, I'm very happy with my trip. I was very happy with my trip. So, but, uh, well, again, do you want to start there? I mean, well, why, why not? Sure, why not? I mean, Since, uh, we broached the subject. Yeah, I mean, uh, like you said, I went down there a couple weeks ago, and uh, for the first time in 13 years, you know, I was able to walk unassisted, uh, no belt, no no uh, cane, you know, uh, no chair. And I felt like a million bucks, man. I, I walked, and I could stand up straight. And uh, walk without making any noises. Get up out of the chair without making noises. You know, it, 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 it was freaky. It was freaky because I felt so damn good. Hadn't felt that good well, in 13, 15 years. Well, well, look at let's just uh, you know, and you basically because I'll, I'll be uh, share some of my same stories right there. But because uh, uh, I'm, I'm the, the newbie here, I'm still actually here now in Columbia, and uh, and I will be getting on an airplane to come tomorrow. It had to make my way back, so I'm still a little bit more. I'm a little bit more on the sore, sore, a sore side here right now. I don't mean that in a in a uh, attitude uh, way. Attitude way. I, <laughs> I, I just mean that a little bit more, and, and you know, just physically, just you know, they said they expect some kind of a little bit of swelling and stuff like that. And I do have a little bit of swelling. I did some of the joints, so it does make it a little bit difficult to uh, to move around. But uh, did that slow me down from getting down to breakfast this morning, there, Mr. Fry? Probably no, not. Probably not. not. Yeah. I bet you elbowed uh, a couple <laughs> old women out of the way with ease. Probably a little bit more force well, no, than they, usual. They, they were they were bringing in more stacks of pancakes and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, I treated, treated those those women nicely. The others that didn't have nothing, sure, yeah, push yeah, them you, all out of my way. <laughs> yeah, give them the old <laughs> three stooges here. <laughs> That's <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> put that in there. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Yep. No, oh, so it's uh, and you you had to be up. Uh, be, just be point blank. I mean, I had both my shoulders were, I got shots of both shoulders, got shots in the, both knees. I got uh, shots uh, into my right hip, uh, my neck, my, and a couple different discs in my back as well, because they did six different MRIs. And uh, they, they had to put me on the scale, so they had to put oh. me on the scale before shoving me into the, the tube there because wow. they had, uh, I guess, another good sized fella there that, uh, you know, damaged their uh, MRI tube. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's kind of going, huh? Big old NFL player that was down there with me, you know. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, was he? Was he? Yeah, there's a big old, big old bruiser, you know. All I know is that putting me in that uh, tube. I literally, I had to suck my gut in. <laughs> I had to keep my arms all in nice and tight to my waist. 
And even then, I kept thinking, man, we're going to have to pull out the butter here pretty soon here. <laughs> and I don't know if I could. It, it literally, they gave me like the little button case that I, I, I cranked right. out inside there. I could hit the button to get out. And hell, I, I could, I could, I couldn't even, I couldn't even really reach, reach to the button. Yeah, you couldn't, couldn't move your thumb. <laughs> yeah. I know I fell asleep in there so they a couple of times, and they were like, well, something went wrong. It got a bad reading, you know. It's not clear. And I'm going, huh, oh, I wonder. <laughs> well, because you, because you might have been moving around. Yeah, I was vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know when they were, uh, when they did an MRI on the, uh, the neck and spine, that's when they wanted to make sure that you're not swallowing and things of that nature because they, uh, they wanted to know that uh, they were getting, like you said, the best readings possible. It was actually a, a very thorough, uh, it was very thorough what they did. Yeah. Very thorough. Compared to uh, the things I went through in the United States, I'll say it was a <laughs> way more thorough. And I, uh, the uh, gentleman that, uh, the, the, the doctor I ended up talking to afterwards, I like when I, when I was, when I was back in the United States and uh, I had, uh, I was being checked out for potentially carpal, uh, carpal, carpal tunnel. Mm. And uh, I go in to see the doc there, and the doc's basically, he's kind of looking at his wristwatch and his rings, and then these, he's literally not even paying attention to me. And he's, you know, the first words that comes out of his, out of his mouth is, uh, so uh, when do we schedule you for your operation? And I'm like, oh, gee there, doc, uh, well, aren't we going to discuss any other options? What, what do I have to do? Make your Mercedes payment? Right. And so I, I took I took him a little bit by surprise by, by saying that. But he, he, he did. He, he basically pissed me off because, you know, all we're going to do is start start carving up Dan Severn. I don't think so. Right. Let's talk about a few other options. And then ironically, the same doctor is also involved in stem cells as well. And I would have thought for sure he would have maybe bring up some potential because what they wanted to do for, for the corporal tunnel is they wanted to do some type of surgery on my wrist. Yeah. Yeah, I had that done, um, shit, seven or eight years ago, you know. On, well, actually, actually, actually for, cor for corporal tunnel? Yeah, maybe a decade, yeah. Yeah, it's just a, a tiny little cut, you know, from all I remember. And I'm like, that that's it, you know. <laughs> But, but you know, but at the same token, you know, speaking to doctors here, and they're like going that everything's like connected to your your spinal column, to your neck, and things of that nature. They're thinking that uh, uh, you know some of the discs that I've got uh, that are messed up. They're like uh, you know that they think that by the time the pressure comes off that, that it will help in other areas of your body. No, well, yeah. I was I was confused because I, I was just wait, Doc, carpal tunnel. That's that's repetitive injury. I don't do anything, you know. <laughs> how how can I be beat when, when I'm not doing a damn thing? There's no way I need that. And he says it's not really repetitive injury, you know. But he says yeah, and explained it, and I was like, wow. Yeah. Well. Well, you said you uh, for a couple of different things. Uh, I ended up going on a uh, a fruit tasting and juice take tasting little tour. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you went to farmers markets. We so went I, to farmers markets. Kind yeah. of same thing, but where you know they were all, all kinds of different types of fruits and vegetables that they grow in South America as opposed to in, in good old United States. So it was uh, it was great. I enjoyed it. But when they cut up with some of the fruit. And they're like, uh, this fruit has seeds into it. And like, going, they want you basically just to, just to slurp it down. Right, right. Like, like you're doing like a, 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 a what, uh, snails? Is that where you were? Where you're, right, you're, yeah. you're, escargot. Yeah, escargot, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, okay, snails, escargot, same basic thing. I mean, or a big, I, a big, a, a big loogie, you know, back, yeah, back okay, there. But are, okay, are you a fan? Are, are you a fan of snails? First off, you know, I had them uh, so long ago, and uh, okay. they were good Just at the because, time. Because you said you had it so long ago, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that as no, you're not. I mean, I'm not a fan of snails. I've I've had them a couple of times. I, I simply I tried them just to be. Polite. You know, mm -hmm. polite stuff like that. But uh, 
when you look at what looks like a big old cold booger, yeah, <laughs> a big chunk of snot. I mean, literally, that's what it looks reminds me of. You know, well, yeah, it's something, you, it's something you need to warm up with a couple of drinks first. You know, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> and then chase well, it down yeah. with a drink. I, I, I know why they serve them at mostly at bars and stuff like that because uh, I think you got to be a little bit well liquored up right, in the first right. place to go. Yeah, that's, let's uh, let's let's uh, let's tip up a couple of these boogers over here on the shelf. <laughs> But the the fruit, there was a couple of things that they had for fruit that uh, it was the same way where you don't chew it because it will take on a whole different flavor. If you chew the seeds, it might take it from a sweet taste to a really tart taste or yeah, something like that. Right. So right. I, I, I just kind of felt that. I kept trying to think of who was the first person <laughs> to try this because most people chew their food and when did they come to the thought of well it's okay to eat as long as you don't chew it yeah don't bite into just, it <laughs> just let it you know just let it roll around your mouth a little bit and then swallow it i don't know i uh, i i ate the stuff one because they were eating it and it's like go oh, try this i'm gonna okay and it was free it. tell the truth it, it was it, free no 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 it was uh <laughs> done you know, going down to the the, the the nice breakfast buffet and stuff like that that they have down there, it's got to go, do I eat everything? No. I'm still selective as to what I eat. Oh, come on now, Mr. Severn. Come on. You're bending the truth hey. here a little bit. No, no, no. Even when I stay at some of the, the cheesiest uh, hotels I've stayed at, and, and, and let, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm on one tour through uh, Florida there, I can tell you about uh, some of these uh, locations the one, one, I think the one was called the Red Carpet Inn. Oh, I don't think they had a red a piece of red carpet in that whole place. But uh, that wasn't was blood so... stained. It wasn't originally <laughs> wasn't originally white. <laughs> it gained gained its red coloring from the blood. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh... Oh my god! But you know. You, you've had a, a really good positive experience. I think that's fantastic, especially I did, I did get a chance to watch your, your video there. And it, it, it was great to see you push the wheelchair away and give the proverbial finger yeah. as it was rolling away from you there. I'll tell you what, Dan, I'm so happy to do that. Well, again, I, I can just tell that in your demeanor right now. You're just you're so much more happier and, you know. Yeah. You're, you're doing this thing called smiling that's not used to that used to see a dot price smile like that no no geez when i used to be when i bared my teeth it was a grimace yes uh biting biting twisting but no i tell you what partner going down there to bio accelerator was i think the oh, best idea i've had <laughs> I tell you what, and I want to thank Mr. Ken Shamrock for throwing my name out there to them, and then them they accepted it, you know. But if it wasn't for Ken, you know, we we wouldn't have known about it. Yeah, yeah no, I, I totally agree with you. Yeah. So it's uh, it's kind of like uh, yeah, one of those things where you say you know at one point in time be an adversarial in, in competition, but then uh, you know be being part of the, that brotherhood outside of. Uh, Outside of the cage, yeah. So each other I, out. I, I, he did me a big favor, so you know I owe him. So I'm going to tell him, uh, Ken, if I was you, I would petition um, Dan, Dan Severn's win against you at Detroit because uh, he cheated. <laughs> he cheated, and I will testify. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Miss, Mr. Seven is not the fair competitor that he makes himself out to be. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whew. Whew. It's a tough, it's a tough crowd here today. It's going to be a tough crowd. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're back to your, your feisty can take herself but without pain now. You just want to inflict pain now. Well, huh? You threw it out there, buddy boy. Well, you, know. you know that I'll, trust me, I'll continue to throw things out there because it's good to keep, uh, you know, let people know that, uh, you know, 
you better put on your man pants there because we're 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 mid, we're talking about mid type of topics. That's and right. uh, if you want some uh you want some little buttery type of uh responses, you better go watch some other type of uh uh democratic type call, of uh call your show. mama. Yeah, call your mama yeah. and uh and uh and call call the government for a check. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So you said you okay. You went to a, one of the tours you did go to. You went to a uh, you uh, uh, you said a uh, fruit and vegetable. A far, uh, uh, yeah, a the, farmers a, market. A far, farmers market. Right. Farmers right. market. I mean, did you? Yeah, you know, there's uh, a lot of cool and different type of fruit uh, that you see uh, down in South America here. That's that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Did you try? Uh, what, 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 what was some of the strangest things that you tried down there? Well, Dan, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. Um, and uh, being two weeks ago, I can't remember uh, describe it. But uh, some of them was real good. Some of them was real odd. I'll tell you. Okay. All right. It was, but it, you, they, they didn't show you. They didn't share any of the uh, video. Uh, the, the the fruit mm-hmm. that you just simply just just put in your mouth and roll around and just swallow, huh? Yeah, yeah. I had I had some of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. The All snot, right. We'll the, the snot, uh, bananas or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, some of that. It was odd. There's some odd things that go around there. Yeah. A lot of traffic. There's, uh, the, the roads are, are very narrow. Kind of remind me of Japan. They're about yeah. the roads being really narrow and just a lot of cars, lots of motorcycles. And just like in the United States, where the motorcycles keep weaving in and out of the traffic, they do the exact same thing in the, it's not really fair, motorcycles, sure. a lot of a lot of those Vespa scooters, you know. <laughs> well, you, well you, you're exactly right. So yeah, there were there were some motorcycles. Most of them were just scooters, and you you think that there were well, again, there was all kinds of like what looked like delivery bikes because they yeah. all had their little uh, baskets. <laughs> uh, ba- yeah, they had their baskets and uh, you know, things of that nature. So look like a lot of delivery type of things that were taking place as well. Yeah, yeah, it it was. And it's funny because uh, I appreciate the way Jay drove because you know it was like a competition and uh, oh, aggressive, very aggressive. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and that's how it should be. You know, life's a competition. So when you're on the road, that should be a competition. Get your ass. You know, if you're gonna drive slow, get your ass to the you know the slow lane. God damn. And there's and there's no there's no lines. Down the road to separate one lane for the other lane. It's kind of going. Okay, I, I see an opening. Let's go for it here. Yeah. Let's go for it there. It's a. Uh, it's a, a lot of beeping of the horns. Right. Uh, a lot of usage of the the brakes there too. So beautiful country though. Oh yeah, very beautiful, very beautiful. <laughs> kind of like West Virginia, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, no, I know. I, I could definitely see that resemblance. Yeah, well, the mountains and mountains and the little little hollers, and then the the, the towns inside the mountains. You know, yeah, it's raining. I mean, it basically rained almost every day today. Yeah, I, every, every day this week. About four Saturday. o'clock, right? Well, it actually rained even a little bit. Yeah, no, you be about yeah, right late late afternoon, early evening. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very pretty, very pretty. I ended up getting like a, a corner corner uh, room here. And it's kind of nice to be able to see the, you know, up over the uh, the shops and then uh, right up, you know, the mountain right up in front. Airport must be right over that same area because it keeps seeing planes coming in and out. Yeah. And what room number are you in? I'm in 10, 1001. 1001. No. Does it have one bed or two? What? I think, I think that was the room I was in. I peed the bed a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> Thank you for watching another episode of Dan and Don's Toxic Masculinity. You better like, subscribe, and share, or I'm going to come to your house.